P-Well, Do-Well, and Be-Well of Well Coaching that I introduced to you last time. Today, I would like to focus on C-Well. The reason we learn C-Well is to ask questions and help people when they are trying to achieve what they want so that they can see how well they achieve what they want. In other words, it is to help them use their imagination to visualize what they want. It's not just letting them say vaguely that they are going to do it. It is about helping them see the, themselves how good they are doing. Sewell is a factor that can have a significant impact on performance. So having a coach to help with that is very important. The coach's job is to help people see for themselves and achieve what they want. Hmm. If this is done well, we will be able to see well. See well is not just seeing well. Today, I'm going to share with you what it means to see well with your original mind. Yes. How can we see well help us in harmony GT leadership? By learning to see well, you will be trained to meet and feel your original mind. The parents awaken the heavenly parents who is in me has only been heard in word and is only uh, they are theoretically known. However, if we practice see well through this kind of original mind coaching, and make it a habit to share the voice of our original mind. We can meet the heavenly parents with us. The learning effect of C-Well coaching is that while the coach does not put his own doubt, they are not mean to give advice or instruction to the person in object position. Coaches must have the mindset and the attitude that encourage the pupil to self-awaken themselves. It is like a coach who become a mirror holder, mirror holder and need to be able to stand in position as an invisible person who helps pupil see themselves in the mirror. It is the coach's the job to stand in the object position as much as possible. To listen carefully and ask it question so that their client can understand their own original mind. If the coach performs this role well, the difficulties people have can be resolved in a short time and they will feel liberated and free. In order to see well coaching, a coach must have a clear understanding of his or her position. The coach's position is that of a chamber coach. The position of a chamber coach is to help their object partner. It is never a teaching role. A coach in such a position is sometimes called a coaching presence. From the coach's position of non-promotion of self. Which is right coaching? The coach will help people achieve what they want to complete their will. This is in principle a place to help the object partner reach their individual perfection. 
with these things in mind, we should think about C well. Okay? Now, see well means to visualize your thought. Think that you have already achieved what you want and fixtures it in your mind correctly. The athletes who won one Olympics did a lot of visualization training and imaging training. It is said that the reason why South Korean fencing player Hyun Hee Nam won the gold medal is because she had been in amazing training, visualizing herself winning a lot of fencing fine. Sewell means that the coach and the object partner can see the goal they want based on their original mind. This is the core of well coaching. What is the harmony give and take leadership? Which is the harmony give and take leadership? We need to think about what the price centered on the original mind means here. Centered on the original mind. In a world, to focus on your true original mind means to have the attitude of chambo coach. The chambo coach put aside all his assertion, judgment, perception, evaluation, and stereotype, and stand purely in support of the object partner. To have the attitude of chamber coach means to take a position to serve the object partner, to love them, and to help them achieve their will. The second point is a chamber coaching is centered on principle. Principle are the everyone in the world recognized as right. Consider, for example, the immature immutable law in the natural world that the big differ is always in the north wherever you are that the sun rise and set and that the seasons come in the order of spring summer autumn and winter these are natural law the never change like this law in the natural world, there are right principles in human life. There are also unchanging principles within human love, truly, honesty, through goodness, beautiful, etc. We can understand that with our original mind, harmony GT leadership makes us a worth road to see well coaching that these unchanging principles are with us. A third point is to discover the divinity that is dominant within you. Every human being has a divine nature within human beings. There is a divinity with a tremendous power that would not dare to think with our human nature, human nature. To be centered on one's original mind means to realize and the nature the uh, tremendous impress of this divinity within oneself. In other words, doing so well, centered on your original mind can be understood as allowing you to experience this true self. Yes. To see the one desire centered on one's original mind is to let the object partner see the desired goal centered on their original mind to see values, to see visions, to see missions, and to see the reality 
in which they are standing, we can apply this to ourselves through the purpose coaching, value coaching, a vision coaching, mission coaching, and the reality coaching with which we will learn in the future. In order for an actor to fire uh, the, uh, his bow, probably he must see his target clearly. You have to see clearly when you want to hit even within the target. What are your eyes looking at now? What are your eyes looking at now? The fact that the blessed families must win 430 is the biggest target among targets. What we need to look at now is a slightly smaller member of targets. You should see a target of 43, a target of 12, a target of 9, and a target of 3. If you stand on such a position, you can win 43. So let's look at the number 3 as a target. Renowned leadership scholar uh, Stepan, I know, uh, 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 Stephen Covey, Stephen Covey said uh, in his book, the seven habits of successful leaders see the end and start. Such leaders said to start looking at the end literally means to start looking at the complete picture of the end goal. Likewise, if we want to win over 43 families in a real sense, we must first focus on three people. If you want to become an excellent coach, you can achieve great results if you create the foundation of three coaches and continue the coaching training you want. One should be the observer, one the coach, and the other the customer, and you have to constantly perform coaching. In coaching of see well the purpose, the coaches help the client achieve their goal. The coach asks the client good, smart questions so they can see well what they want to achieve. What the client see may differ depending on what and how the coach asks it. Smart questions are good. You need to ask smart questions as a coach. Following the, after each letter of the word S-M-A-R-T, smart. Let S is an uh, abbreviation for specific and it represents a Quest to set the goal in detail. For example, when you ask it, what is your goal? What is your goal? And they give an unclear answer. Please say it again. Or please tell me about the goal. You just talk about this one short sentence. By adding such questions, you can help them see specifically what they are looking for. Let the M represent the need to set measurable goals. You ask the questions so that they can see the similar smaller step as a, a small step, smaller step toward the goals, which should be measurable, not big at all. Afterward, if they have achieved the goal, you can ask questions in which they can confirm it. You could ask questions like, how will I know you have reached your goal? How will I know you have reached your goal? Or how can I confirm that you have created the Trinity? Can you tell me about it?
Yes. Let A is an abbreviation for actionable. You ask questions that will help client set a variable goals. Ask the question such as from whom did you get help to build Trinity? Who else will you get help from? What kind of meetings did you have to build the Trinity? Please think about that meeting, imagine it, see it well, and tell me about it. Next, R is an abbreviation for relevant, and it is question for them to set relevant goals. For example, what does creating a Trinity mean to you? What is it important to create the Trinity? Throw these questions. If they feel and realize the value of creating the Trinity, wouldn't they make the Trinity? You need to make these kind of questions. Lastly, the letter T is an abbreviation for time. You ask the question so that they can use time's management skill in achieving their goals. For example, asking, by when will you achieve that trinity? When will you achieve that trinity? In, the, in this way, the coach helps they achieve their goals by asking them smart coaching questions. To recap the uh, smart questions are firstly, to articulate their goals as specially, the next step is to ask a question about what can be M measured. They ask it questions about actionable goals, the relevant goals, and why they need such goals. Finally, ask a question about time. You should be able to apply this goal well. When setting a goal, when setting a goal, it is necessary to subdivide the goal into smaller ones rather than setting just one big goal. The realization of HTM 430 families or substation of 43 families is our end goal. In order to advance to the end goal, we need to take a good look at the actionable goals that we can do from now on. You need to ask it questions like, let's think about the 43 family. Now it is rather big members to reach and on. You need to ask questions like, let's think of 40, three families. Now, it is rather big numbers to reach and not easy. But consider three families, won't it be possible to restore three families? Who are those three families? It is important to see the final goal well, but it is more important to ask at the actionary or performance goal that can be put into practice to each stage. Doing so is also quite desirable in setting and specific goal and putting it into action. When the coach asks you these kind of questions, there are some things to be careful about question should be positive and specific. You need to be able to find the evidence that clients have achieved their goals and should be able to give feedback. Keeping this point in mind will add you in helping client to make a good action plan. Now let's practice see the uh, goal uh, well coaching. 
I am the coach here, I am the coach here, and you are the client, everybody client. Uh, when I ask you a question, I want you to answer it. You can answer uh, uh, silently in your mind. Is there something you really, really want? What is that? Please try to answer it to yourself. What does it mean to you? Yes, if there is something that your original mind truly desires, what would it look like? If there is one thing that the original mind within you or the heavenly parents with you or the true mother within you desire, what would it be like? Please try to answer internally. Yes. Then picture it in your mind. Imagine, imagine it. And enjoy it just like it, it is real. Now, you have visualized your desired goal. Yes. It is a picture of the achievement of goal in your head. Please enjoy the achievement of your goal. Enjoyment. Yes, I will admit that you have achieved your goal. So, what sound do you hear when you reach your goal? Please, can you explain to me what else you see, the, what environment you are in? Mm. Please, explain to me what you achieved. Describe the place and the environment. I'll wait. Please describe it well. You are the visualization. What you want as you are talking. Yes. Can I check that your goal has been achieved as a coach? How can I verify? Could you please explain? so I can chat. Yes, is that so? Then, when and where did that wonderful goal come true? What was your end goal? What was your end goal? And what action goal did you set the achievement? What was the execution goal? Please explain to show me so I can see it. <laughs> yes, thank you. You have really achieved that goal. Now, there must have been many stuff before reaching that goal. When and how would you describe to me the milestones that lead to the achievement of this action goal? Yes, thank you. When you quietly Deeply and with Jung Sung carefully answer these questions that you 
and I have discussed together so far, you will be able to visualize and picture yourself achieving your goal. Even after this sharing with me today, we can reach a conclusion that you can achieve your goals by asking these coaching questions or finding answers from your family, church members, or the home group members you work with. Please try it. Next, we will take a moment to reflect on the importance of looking at the seed goal well, especially for the blessed families for Family Federation for World Peace and Invocation of our Heavenly Parents Holy Community. It is not the goal we want to see, but the goal our original mind desires. When it matches what our original mind desires the most amazing, amazing things can happen. Then you will see how important is it to set the goal. Our goals are very important. So throughout this practice, we know we know that we need to achieve that goal. A man named Brian Tracy has come up with a 12 step to setting goal. The first step is to clearly visualize what I want. The second is to write it down on paper. The third is to set the scheduled deadline. First, to identify the obstacle to overcome. Fifth, to acquire all necessary knowledge, information, skill, and ability to achieve my will. Sixth, to find someone to help me and collaborate with. This seventy is uh, this the seventh. The seventh is to make. A list, make a list. Eight, to organize it. Nine, to make a plan. Ten, to choose the important things you can do right now. Eleven, to, de- to do them substantially. Twelve, to do all this constantly to make it a habit every time. The most important thing here is to visualize the achievement of the goal at the conclusive this, uh, this moment that set all of the, it is well, Brian Tracy is making this suggestion with an important step in achieving goal. What kind of picture are you drawing and what step are you taking to achieve your goal? In order to create the tribe of 43 family like me, we really have to follow the facts of self-training. Okay, everyone, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you a question to help you achieve your goal. Please answer that question. You need to answer the question again internally in your mind. What is that you really want? What is that you really want? by when you will achieve what you want.
What are the obstacles to achieving it? What are the obstacles to achieving it? What resources do you have to remove those obstacles? What resources do you have to remove those obstacles? Who can help you? In order to establish 43 families and 3 families, what will you do within them? How will I know that you did it? How will I know that you did it? Yes. In order for us to go together for a lifetime and to complete the work, we need to make a habit like eating three meals a day. How much more effort would it take to become a habit? We have now completed either 43 families. 12 families, 9 families, 6 families, or 3 families. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And visualize the purpose that has been achieved. Please see the well. Where you are. When. With whom. What is going on? Please find the meaningful image connecting to the visualization. The moon star or sunflower are all good. After I have created an image, I will become a person who achieved my purpose when I think of that imaging anytime, anywhere, visualization of images. Today, you create an image, you are achieving your goal, and you learn about the importance of reminding yourself to keep visualizing by making an imaging of what you want to achieve. I want to live a life that visualize it every day. I'm going to finish now my sharing today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.